every one of you and because this very broadcast is going out to the entirety of humanity we say good morning good afternoon good evening and good night to some of you because the whole world is listening you can receive this very transmission this morning via my facebook page at Mazen namdekano we are on fm across biafra land we are on satellite some of you might be listening via youtube we are on radio biafra app we are on tuning we are on sweet radio we are on simple radio we are on radio garden however you have chosen or should i say whichever means you have opted to listen to us this very morning you are welcome our lines will be open very very shortly i have nothing much to say this morning i want to listen to all of you i want to listen to some of you i want to listen to what you have to say all your questions will be answered anything you have you bring it on it will be answered as honestly as possible anything you feel may be troubling you those you think may be worried about the dimension or should i say the direction we are going they are more than welcome to phone in to ask their questions this very day as always our questions are taken only via whatsapp and also skype and i will make those available in a short while but as always and it's customary with us i must pray this very morning very very important we are handing over all that we are to the most high but before then you are listening to mazen namde kano i am the leader of the indigenous people of biafra by the very special grace of the most high a servant of the wonderful people of biafra i welcome you this very morning of course this very broadcast was not announced prior to this very day but as you all know every friday morning is our question and answer session there was a session where we were not able to come live on air but today we are live and we are direct and the whole world is listening our enemies will do all they can to try to stifle us they will do all they can to try to stop us the zoo is paying unbelievable amount of money to social media to stifle to suppress and to kill off what we are doing but they cannot succeed they have never succeeded in the past and they are not going to start today so without further ado without further hesitation we are going to pray a very simple prayer which is our lord's prayer the same prayer that yeah we prayed when he was on earth that those of you who may be misguided those of you who may be confused as to those of you who may become sometimes slightly should i say um dissuaded from doing the right thing let us point in the right direction and that very right, right direction is towards the one and only that exists in heaven therefore we pray this very morning our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on this very earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever we pray he say he say he say a very simple and a very short prayer to underline once again that every praise and every adulation every honor and every glory do not belong to flesh do not belong to any other entity but to chukukikabi amapurumi henine who resided in heaven and unto whom we give every glory this very day for our lives and more importantly for the lives of ipob all across this very planet earth that we inhabit we our lines will be open very very shortly and please make sure you bring your pen and paper with you because any gossip you may have any ideas you may possess anything that is troubling you you are more than welcome to bring that up on air i do not believe in anything being hidden you must come up to say exactly what you have in mind and if you say it we are going to respond to it 
If it is a question, we are also going to answer it. As I said, we are live and we are direct and the whole world is listening. We are on Skype, as I told you. We are on Skype and I want to make sure that you have it. I want to make sure that you have it. Already we have a caller on the line. This caller, give us your name and where you are calling from. We are live and you are direct to the whole world. Go ahead. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? For the very last time, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. They are unable to hear me. They called and I took it, but they couldn't hear me. I have another caller on the line. Can you hear me? Yeah, my name is... Go ahead. I don't know what is going on. I have no idea. Can you hear me? The call on the phone. Your name and where you're calling from? Yes, I can. My name is Kingsley Okubi from South Korea. From South Korea. Are you part of IPOB family in South Korea? Yes. Go ahead, please. We are listening. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Uh, Great Ahmadike. I'm glad to speak to you direct. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Um, the vision I had about you before now, before the zoo sent their, their men into your house, I had this vision that uh, many, uh, the dead, the one that died during the Biafran War, genocide, surrounded you. And uh, in that vision, you were given a sword to say, hello? Yes, we are listening. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Okay. To say... And make it very brief. I prefer questions, please. Every dream, every vision I appreciate, you can call me after this very live broadcast to tell me that or you can write it to me. The whole world is listening. They want answers to difficult questions regarding our efforts to restore Biafra. What I need are questions, very difficult questions or anybody who wishes to debate any aspect of what we are doing. I appreciate the dreams and I appreciate the vision I need questions, please, because the world is listening. Okay. Go ahead. There is a question I want to ask again. Concerns uh, where your, the name of IPOB was mentioned based on uh, the petition people wrote against IPOB, that IPOB was attacking churches in Nigeria. So my question remains that, what effort have you put in place to make sure that that thing has been removed? No, nobody wrote anything. It was a concocted report by a band of criminals being supported by the zoo. These are hardened saboteurs being funded by the zoo. No United States wrote anything. There was a very stupid blogging site that works for the zoo called El Lumba. A very, set of, a very stupid set of idiots there in England. That very stupid woman. They are the ones peddling this rubbish because the zoo gave money to some saboteurs through Loretta Onochie to be peddling falsehood against IPOB. And in fact, I am disappointed. I am shocked. I am shocked that people have time for such people, for such nonsense. United States never wrote any garbage against IPOB, not now, not tomorrow, not ever. People go and they concoct rubbish, claiming it's from the US, it is a lie. I challenge them to give you the link of any United States department, be it a governmental organization or non-governmental organization, castigating or saying anything wrong against IPOB is a lie. Let me tell people what they do not understand. Do you think we are trying to collapse the zoo and in the process the zoo will keep quiet and do nothing? They have consultants. They have people they are paying. They have some even religious leaders. They give them money to write rubbish and they write. The reports you are alluding to my dear brother never came from the USA. It is a lie. 
I want you people to prepare for such a time as this. Okay. I want all of you, those of you who are attracted to gossip and to garbage, that a time will come when BBC will join this very attack against my person and against the IPOB. They have not come and you are collapsing right, left, right and centre. It was, it is a lie. It is a concocted report and it is a lie. No USA okay. wrote anything against us. Okay, okay. Ahamadike, uh, please sir. The next question I, I want to ask you, you remember the history lane, how... Please go ahead. We are listening. Are you still there? No, they are no longer there. And please, one person per question. One person per question. I have a caller on the line. That caller is on Skype. Can you please hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you, Maxi. Please raise your voice for me. Raise your voice, your name, and where you're calling from, please. Okay, uh, my name is um, Ifoma Bago. I'm actually calling from Australia. From Australia? Um, from Obo. From Obo. Yes. Before you proceed, I have to ask yes. you a very simple question. Are you part of this noble family of IPOB in Australia? Are you one of us in Australia? No, no, I tried calling, but the number isn't going through. No, I'm not. Honestly, I'm not. You are not. Okay, please go ahead. We are listening. What questions do you have for okay. us this morning? Please okay. go ahead. Um, okay, thank you so much for giving me the audience. My question is now, um, I know you, um, was it last week you talked about like um, Nigerian, uh, the National Nigerian Petroleum Corporation being owned by this year? Yes, of course. So, so my question is now, what will happen once this whole zoo thing breaks up? Like the Afra finds his own way, or the Goa finds his own way, and Arawa. What will happen to those who actually are working for like companies like NNPC, like the Nigerian Railway uh, Corporation, like all these companies owned by the zoo? What will happen to them? What will happen to those who are the, who, who actually worked, rendered their services, and are now retired? once this whole thing breaks out are we putting this into consideration of course we are there's something called asset division all the assets will be divided amicably and in a civil manner where we inherit pensioners from these institutions we are going to pay them we are going to pay everybody if you've worked for them before we are going to pay you once the assets are divided then we will pay those that we inherit that is how it works in civilized climes and that is how it is also going to work in the land of biafra because biafra will be the most civilized black nation on the face of this very earth we are not like the animals of the zoological republic we are civilized beings and we shall take care of our own or should i say any liability that we inherit including chinese loans if we inherit any chinese loan we are going to pay it that is the price of ever belonging to a zoological republic that is how it's going to go was i able to answer uh, did i answer your question at all or not yes because when i'm asking this question because i know a lot of people who actually are working for professional like this or who are actually retired and are, they're getting pension from this we'll pay them. and the idea is that once uh, nigeria breaks out it's going to affect them are we putting them into consideration i know they are some of them are actually listening to my question and i'm like they are grateful that asking such questions of course they'll be taking care of also my suggestion before i go i know you said just one person pardon me this is just a suggestion um my suggestion is this for all these um governors uh all these politicians who have actually stolen um the southeast wealth like the Biafran's wealth like the all money and all that and actually sending them abroad like to china to Netherlands and to New Zealand and all that. So my question, I know once this Biafra, once Biafra happens, I know most of them are going to run because they can't really face what is going to come before them because they have to answer to the people what what happened, what how they betrayed our people. My my own suggestion is this: once they go, once they leave Biafra land and they die, please they shouldn't bring their cops to Biafra land. Just like Putin said, he said a lot of them once they get money, they steal money from Africa, they take it abroad to invest and all that. But once they die, they bring their cops 
to Africa. Biafra is not a cemetery. That whole thing has to stop. Once, since they're not going to face the face um, the crime they, they committed, once they die, they should bury them where they spent their money. Am I making sense, Fatsi? Of course, of course you are, and that is what we are going to adopt. If you have stolen money from our land and you've sent those assets abroad, your corpse will never come back home. Putin was right, of course. And that is one of the dangers with Africa and Africans. And as I keep lamenting every blessed day, the way we reason is what troubles me more than anything else. I don't know why other people will always gravitate towards something that is nice and decent and good. But in Africa, Africans will always gravitate towards evil, towards gossip and towards nonsense. We always tend, we always tend to promote those things that are actually inimical to our development as a people. And why that happens, I have no idea. Why the brain of a black man is wired to accept always what is evil, what is against them, I have no clue. Anybody, if you are stealing money from our land and that money is abroad, we will give you an opportunity to return it. Once Biafra comes, you will be given an opportunity to return those assets to Biafra land. Once you say no to it, then you have no stake in our land. You cannot belong and you cannot be there. It's as simple as that. I thank you very much for calling. Thank you very, very much for calling. And may Elohim continue to be with all of you, especially those of you in Australia, because Australia is doing exceptionally well. Australia is doing exceptionally well. I have a caller on the line, presumably from the UK. Your name, please, and exactly where you are. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you, please. Yes, my name is Dadabo Ifani Emebo, and I'm calling from, from UK. Please raise your voice. Your voice is very, very low. Please raise your voice if you, if you want to speak to us. Go ahead. Yeah, my name is Dadabo Ifani Emebo. Yes. I'm from uh, Obiaruko, Okwani, Okwani, in Biafala. Okwani, thank you very much. Please go ahead. We are listening. Go ahead, please. But, yeah, I've got a question for you. Yes. My question is that in view of the high degrade environmental degradation in Biafra land, yes. what is the plan? What is the plan? How are we going to upgrade our environment? Because when you come abroad here, especially in the UK, where I reside, you know, the environment is just impeccable. You see, and that is one of the things that attracts people when you come here. You see, that's one of the things that attracts people when, you know. So, it's like, go to a bar now in Biafra land. It's an eyesore. It yes. is a complete dust bin. Yes. How, what plan do we have to bring our, 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 our country, you know, our state to to that impeccable condition, you know, the environmental policy, because here, everything is, drive, is driven by the government. You know, there are laws when you build your house. There are laws about your external, you know, your field, how you do your garden, you know. So, you know, how, what plan do we have? You see, because everybody is that, you know, there is no plan. You just build your house. There's no, 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 no kind of concentration to the environment. Our green, green, no, there is no greenery. It's like a concrete jungle. You see, what plans do we have? I will tell you exactly the plans we have. And I will answer your question this way because this was exactly what we told or what I explained to people about the abandoned property in Iguacha. And I want to use as an example. I said that everything you're looking at today in most of our urban areas, most of the junk you're looking at today will be knocked down and rebuilt from scratch. Our cities will be knocked down and rebuilt from scratch. And we have an army of graduates of town planning, graduates of water resources management, graduates of all manner of discipline that has to do with uplifting the quality of life that we lead on a daily basis understand this very well now now listen 
in Biafra land, we are going to build a sewage system. Not soak away. Not when you build house, you go to behind the house and you dig a hole. And all the grey water, as they call it, will be going in there and percolating into the water table, contaminating it and making all of us sick. No. We are going to have a proper sewage system. We are going to have a system of drainage and canal system linking everywhere in Biafra land together the same way you have it in the UK. If you go to the UK, you see a canal system. Every developed or advanced society has one. We are going to clean up all the mess, all the mess in Ogoni land, in all the oil producing areas. We are going to meticulously clean them. And how are we going to do it? We will excavate um, 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 the earth, the contaminated earth. We will go to a treatment plant, we will treat the soil and the sand, and then we'll bring it back. That is how it is done everywhere. If you go to a brown field site in the UK, before they build any house there, or should I say a set of houses there, they first of all treat that very land. That is what we are going to do. Because if we don't treat it, most of the diseases that we don't know about that we are dying from today in Biafra land is as a result of the pathogens in the oil. In the, as a result of the processed oil, so to speak, that we have in our land. When you go to the farm and our mothers step on it, they get sick. Some of these things are carcinogenic. But people don't know these things. And once that starts happening, people will say, oh, is there a neighbor that is holding them? No. It is as a result. These are the byproducts of oil exploration. These are highly dangerous, toxic substances that people are not aware of because of the very deplorable state of education and public awareness that we have. So let me make it very clear. If you want to know what Biafra would look like, go to a typical village that is untainted. You will see how we sweep it, how we clean it every blessed morning. That gives you an idea as to how we are going to live in the new land of Biafra. All these concrete urban jungles, rubbish, it won't exist in our land. It will never ever exist. We are going to be scrupulously clean and tidy. In fact, I will give you an example. I don't know if you've been to Singapore before. Go to Singapore and see what it looks like. That is exactly Biafra will be better than Singapore in terms of cleanliness and tidiness. Thank you very much. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. <laughs> That's how it's going to be. There is, big, of course, those who understand the way we operate will always tell you this. Anything we say we are going to do, we do it. Biafra land is not going to be free to become like another useless black African country. Never. We are not struggling to become free from the zoo to go around and become like the zoo. That is why the way we reason is very, very important. If we are going to stay in a Biafra where people listen to rubbish, where people gravitate towards gossip, you are going to have dictators. People will steal your money and they will dump it abroad. You will do nothing about it. But if you're focused on your civics, if you're concerned about the welfare of your people, about how clean the environment is, then Biafra will be heaven, as we had always intended. I have a caller on the line. This very caller, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, please. No, we have spoken to you before. If you have called before, please do not call again. Allow other people to be able to speak. The name of the caller on the line, please, and where you are calling from. Yes, good evening. Good morning, Mas. I'm calling from Doha. From Doha. Thank you very much in the Middle East. Thank you very much. Please, we are listening. Yes, go Yes. Okay, now, what is that from? Isa Alambana. Isa Alambana. What is Please go ahead. The world is listening. The whole world is listening to you. Please go ahead. Okay. Okay, sir. So I want to contribute about this uh, 1 million match in US. Yes. Yes, I want to say something about it because I know that you know, it will be uh, you uh, you can't be there before. So I want to say that if you can uh, announce this our uh, match so that we can match because I remember when this man died, your friend, they protest, everybody protest, but uh, they they cover their um, their match uh, with match cover. So I uh, I think we should match this one million match. Yes. Uh, Yes, we are, we are, we are going to do the best we can to make sure that that match takes place. 
that everything is dependent on the new world order and the coronavirus. You know, there are some people who are making a lot of money with this coronavirus. There are some, some environmentalists that would like to see a curtailment of air travel because they believe that is a disproportionate amount of aircrafts in the air every blessed day and they are contributing to pollution and the greenhouse effect what people don't understand about corona and how it has impacted on every other activity is this these people are very very formidable is a very strong lobby what they're trying to do is to limit economic activity all over the world and a great majority of our people live outside the usa and most of them would like to attend this very rally in dc what we have done is to tentatively place the date again we are going to make it june of 2021 but we are hoping it's going to be a victory rally rather than a rally to sensitize and to enlighten the american public as to the plight of the biafran people because we are doing everything we can to make sure that biafra is restored this very year i mean in 2020 we are doing everything we are going to do we shall do it to make sure that biafra is restored this year that is why every any other talk about uh, presidency or us marching in washington is is, is um, secondary but we are hoping it will be a victory lap rather than one designed to sensitize and to bring our plight to the awareness of the american public thank you very very much we would like to go and march in washington and we are going to do all that we can to see if that is going to be possible we have another caller on the line this very caller give us your name and where you're calling from you're live and you're direct and the world is listening good morning Marzi. good morning sir good morning to you my name is uh I'm calling from Benin Republic. From Benin Republic. Are you part of this family in Benin yes. Republic? Yes, I'm part of this family in Benin Republic. Thank you very much. The family is IPOB, of course. Please go ahead. Yes. So I want to thank you for what you have been doing. I want to thank you. You have opened our eyes to know what we're supposed to know. To know those things that our father refused. Those things that our father did not tell us. I just want to thank you. I say, may God bless you. Yes, sir. I'm blessed with you. Sir. Go ahead. Yeah. What I want to what I want to say is I don't know if you know about the happenings in the Republic here. I don't. Please tell me. Because yeah. So please, uh, uh, the national coordinator in the Republic here. I think uh, something needs to be done urgently because we have been reporting to the U.S. but nothing has been done. So since uh, since IPOP was existing in the Republic here, IPOP has not been registered. IPOP has not been recognized in the Republic here. So sometimes he gathers some businessmen in the Republic here, they contributed 200,000, 100,000, 150,000 for the situation of IPOP. Yes, I'm talking to you, it's not been really start. Many things have been going wrong. Is, is there any reason, reason uh, hold on, is there any reason why it has not been registered? For example, you know that Benin Republic depends on the handout from the zoo to be able to, it's a very poor country, one of the poorest countries in the world. It depends on the handout from the zoo to keep afloat. Are you sure that Benin Republic officials have not gone to the zoo, collected some money, and assured themselves that they will do all they can to frustrate IPOB? Are you sure that is not the reason why there is this delay? Well, that is not the reason, sir. As I'm also coming, sir. Some people, when you pay your dues, they don't give you receipts. Some people have been paying dues since 2016. Up to date, they have not been collecting their receipts. And this is what I'm telling you. You have to set an inquiry. You have to make it. You have the right petition to the U.S. Well, I will do so. I will and do so. And they are listening. Our DOS, they are all listening. And I can assure you that right after this very broadcast, this very matter will be referred to our reconciliation committee to investigate and tell me precisely what is happening in Benin Republic. Because I was in Benin Republic. I have been there to see the family. In fact, I was on my way to Benin Republic with um with um bright chimese isinwa um um uh chibrezi wala and uh and um and chirebre our former national coordinator in biafra land when our vehicle broke down and we stopped somewhere to eat mama putin i like mama putin a lot 
I love it a lot. So where we stopped, we took that very photograph. So I have been to Benin Republic to see the family. But what I want to state categorically now is that there will be an inquiry, a very thorough one, an exhaustive one. And I will also send a Marachi gift eBay to go to Benin Republic to audit the accounts there. Very, very Thank important. You, very very, very important we have, are going to we have you. we have we have all the details we have all the details those people that have been paying without collecting receipt all this they are so done that their details they are ready to testify and please sir don't involve the west africa rep because i think it's a conspiracy in this issue we have wrote a petition against obin many times many things have been happening here but it seems like you don't you don't want to do anything it will be please, investigated sir, uh, not only investigated, I uh, will find out why there has been this delay from the DOS to actually prosecute this very matter, considering the gravity of it and the seriousness of it, because we want IPO be legally documented and registered in every territory of the world where we are domiciled or where we find ourselves present. We need to make sure we are appropriately and authoritatively documented so that the authorities in those countries will know that we exist. Thank you very much for your call. I value it. And I'm sure they are listening. Mazi Edozium, who is our head of Director of State. I am sure they are listening. And I need answers to the very difficult questions that you have raised. I need answers to them. Thank you very, very much for calling. We are live and we are direct and the whole world is listening. Our lines are jammed as always. People are very, very interested and they want to register their views and your opinion and if you are a regular caller now is not the time for it i want some of you who have not been calling to call there are people that know these numbers and they want to be calling all the time i do not appreciate it i don't at all at all at all i have a caller who happens to be on skype please give us your name and where you're calling from we are live and we are direct and the whole world is listening please go ahead okay yeah good morning sir good morning to you uh my name is uh, Igwe Agnelli. I'm calling from Paris. From Paris, you are in France. Are you one yes. of this very family? Are you one of us in France? I want to know. Yes. Thank you. Please yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I have uh, just one question and uh, one announcement to make. Please go ahead. My question is: uh, Our people working in the Nigerian uh, 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 government, like maybe the police and the uh, and, and and rest of them. Yes. When, when Biafra come, as we are going to graduate this year, yes, that Biafra must, must come this year. When Biafra come, what will be their fate? Their fate will be like anybody else. If they are found to have colluded with the enemy to suppress our agitation, to go and arrest our people, they'll be tried and jailed. But if their hands are clean, then of course there are many of them in the police and in the army that call me all the time that tell me what is happening in their various um, departments and what they are doing. So there are most of them who are the children of the most Hayumu Chineke, as we call ourselves. For those ones, there is nothing. They will perhaps, after a process of reorientation, because they cannot be thinking like zoo military or zoo police, they will be integrated into the new system that we are creating. But if you are involved or implicated in the arrest of our people in the persecution of Biafrans, you will be tried, you will be jailed, and if you're found to have killed anybody in the process, you will be hanged. It's as simple as that. Okay. Uh, my announcement is uh, like uh, from my own uh, perspective, I, I think this uh, full and written Jawit, yes, uh, destroying farmlands. I think you know, 19, uh, uh, 1967, during the, the uh, first uh, uh, civil war, the, because of the blockage of food, so the, there was no means of maybe any anything coming inside the Biafra. So they, they think if they are able to destroy our family land. That is why they are there. If anything occurs. You are, hold on, hold on. You are actually correct. I think the question you're asking is what we are going to do about the Janjaweed who are in our farmlands. They will be driven away very, very shortly. I announce it and you see, people must understand the way that I work. 
I don't believe in all this um, hiding. You keep hiding your motives and your intentions. I make it very clear. There is no way they can be in our forests. And we'll be talking about being free. It's impossible. They have been placed there with their weapons, their ammunition, to try and do all they can to suppress this very agitation. That's what they're doing to deny us access to food because they know that we have new and novel ways to produce food. So that all that their nonsense, all that their garbage, the blockade of 67 to 70, instigated by the British and executed by Awolowo cannot work this time around. Of course it cannot work. So that is why I said we are going to be 100% reliant on the things we are making. Our arms will make them. Our food will grow them. We are going to grow them in warehouses. We'll grow them in our basement. We'll grow them in our homes. Every home can produce vegetables. We have the technology. We know how to do it and we are going to do it. All that nonsense of the past, food blockade, arms block, all that rubbish is gone. We are not depending or relying on anybody again to do anything for us. We are going to do everything ourselves. And the ginger wheat cannot be in our forest as we are planning as we are uh, basically articulating a way out of the mess that we are in it cannot happen so if you if you are related i know that some of you you have uh, full and blood in you if one of your relatives are in our bushes if you're a traditional ruler and you've sold our land to the full and you better ask them to leave because when we start our own madness because it's going to come and this very year it must come when we start our own madness if there is any full and settlement in your land and your traditional ruler you are an accomplice you will go down for it I'm telling you what I'm telling you. So you will go and plan with the zoo. You will go and connive with every sabo that is alive. Do everything you can to stop us. That is why I say to our enemies, do all you can to stop IPOB. You cannot. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not forever. It doesn't matter how many you are. And do you know why? Because Chukwoki Kabiyama is at the helm of what we are doing. At the end, at the front of our march, God Almighty in heaven is there because we have done nothing wrong. We are not asking for something that doesn't belong to us. We are seeking to go back to the way we were before the white man came. The white man is not God. The white man cannot create a country or a nation for me because I cannot create a nation or a country for a white man. It's as simple as that. Any idiot who cannot understand this may stupidity have mercy upon your soul. I cannot help you. I have a caller on the line, please. Your name and where you're calling from. We are live and we are direct and the entirety of humanity is bearing us witness. Please go ahead. Good morning, my my Ebuli Damazanam Dekano. Good morning to you, please. Your name my and name where you're calling from. My name is Lemens Mazi Etenobudo. I'm calling from Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Abu Dhabi, Middle East is with us this morning. Please go ahead. What questions do you have to ask? You ask them. Sir, so I want to thank you for the wonderful work we have been doing for we Biafrans all over the world, both home and abroad. Thank you. And I want to thank you for everything, for your effort. I say, may Chuko Kikabema bless you in the name of Chuko Kikabema's name, I pray. You say, go ahead. So I have no question, but I want to thank you for that very wonderful work. And also all my able leaders in the United Arab Emirates, my national leader, Prince Chuku, and all the rest of them. And also the people that have never been joining our movement so that they will have the need to join us and also for us to fight till we get our motherland, which is Biafra. He said, he said, he said thank you very much for that. And we are not begging anybody to be part of us. We don't have to because there is no need for it. If you find yourself in IPOB, it's because you are chosen. You were born for this. Chuko Kika Abiyama in heaven decreed that you must be part of this very effort. We are not begging anybody to be part of us. Do you expect somebody who was fathered by uh, Fulani Janjawi during the war? Or their parents were fathered by Fulani Janjawi to be part of what we are doing? Of course not. Those who are in IPOB are the chosen children of light. The light of God of heaven. They are, if you, 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 some, of, some of us did not just wake up one morning and say, Oh, we are going to join IPOB and start um, doing Biafra. No. 
We, we are born to do this very work. And that is exactly what we are doing. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? The calls are just too much. People should take it easy. The calls are just too... I can't even go to, to, to expand the volume. It is unbelievable. The calls are just too much. Can people please just take it easy for a little bit? Let us hear each other. One after the other, please. The call you have placed yourself on hold. The caller you are on hold. Can you on hold yourself if you want to speak to us, please? You are on hold. I don't know what that means, but you are on hold. I have a caller who happens to be on Skype. This very caller, give us your name and where you are calling from, please, if you may. My, my name is Hello, I am calling from Anambra. From Anambra, I think. We are in Anambra. What is Anambra? Please give us your name and where you're calling from. You say you're calling from Anambra. Give us the area you're calling I'm from. I'm calling from. I'm calling from Biafra land. Biafra land is a. It is in this. No, no. That means you don't want. You are afraid. You don't want to tell us where you're calling from. And here on this very platform, once you are afraid, we cannot take your call. You are afraid to tell us where you're calling from. You cannot tell us you are calling from Anambra. You are calling from a province of Biafra. In Anambra, you give that to us. That is what we want to hear. We have a caller on the line if they can allow us to be, but they cannot. Oh, my goodness. They cannot allow us to be. We are trying as much as possible to connect the too many calls, and the lines are being jammed, as always. We have this very caller on the line. That caller can you hear us. Can you hear me? The caller. Uh, good morning, sir, my leader. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling from. Yes, I'm hearing you. Good morning. Good morning to you. Go ahead. My name is Mazi Izuchuku Rama. Izuchuku, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Bene Republic. Thank you very much. I'm calling from Bene Republic, but I'm from Enugu Ezike in Enugu State. Thank you very much. That's how it's done here. Please go ahead. We don't hide who we are. Please okay. go ahead. Okay, I just want to ask more questions. Go ahead. That what that one of uh, my Yoruba friends that tell me that before before a country we have a freedom that uh, the president of the that country will sign, and we all know that uh, the zoo don't have president now. <laughs> so, my, so my question now is that hello uh, we are listening please go ahead you're wasting time go ahead I ask your question we are listening i don't disturb people when they're asking questions go ahead ask no i don't think he is there anymore i don't think so he's trying to say that his yoruba friend said to him that um before you can before you can have your freedom the president of that country has to sign it doesn't flow that way you compel them to nobody wants to relinquish a territory that has either been prepared to them or they have conquered in a war you compel them to and we know the zoo has no president the same way they've been wearing masks and going to mali to claim they are going to do peace in Mali when the zoo is burning is how somebody in Janjaweed will wear a mask with a Buhari face on it to go and sign that Biafra should go. It's as simple as that. We are going to compel them to. Do you think they will sit down one day and say, okay, Biafra, uh, uh, just go like that? No. Because they are poor, they are badly educated, they are backwards, they are not hardworking either. They cannot produce what they would like to consume. So they depend on our oil and gas to be able to do that. So you think they want to stop buying houses in Dubai and having Swiss bank accounts? Of course not. They want all of that, but we are going to compel them to do the needful. Very, very important. We are going to compel them, please. We have a caller on the line. This very caller, can you hear me? I have a caller for the last time on Skype. Can you hear me? For the last time, the caller on Skype. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No. 
they cannot hear me they cannot hear me i don't know why that is the case but it seems to me that they cannot hear me and as i've said before those of you who have called before try not to call again the caller on skype can you hear me yeah, come. Good morning to you. Speak English and come closer to your microphone. You are very far. Don't put your device on 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 hands free or whatever it's called. Come closer to your microphone and you speak. Give us your name and where you're calling from. Then your question, please. Your question, please. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Mazi. I'm from. Uh, my name is uh, Chief Logi. I'm from. Uh, Thank you. Please drive. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Germany. From Germany. Please go ahead. Yeah. My question is, my things. Is there any way you can ask so people in Vincent, Germany, our our brothers, those those of them who have been, who have started out maybe before and all of a sudden they start. We ask them what is the problem because we that i will tell you what the problem is i will tell you don't don't disturb yourself i will tell you what the problem is there are some people in germany who started ipob with us yes all well and good today they are no longer in ipob and i will tell you why you see we must learn to be disciplined i have said this thing to people many times over there is a problem with a black man once a black man is holding a position and you vote them out of office and you say your time is up you've done enough thank you very much let another person try they will get upset and that is why in africa you have dictatorships and it cannot happen in biafra land i have said it many many times over i will not put myself forward to contest for any position when biafra comes to set an example for others to learn that you don't cling on to power for life it doesn't belong to you we have people in Germany in positions of authority. They, for one reason or the other, they were suspended from IPOB. They stopped paying their monthly dues. Some of them have not paid for two and a half years. And let me tell you something. In Munich, there are, there are some idiots in Munich. And the very soon I mention their names. In, in München, in Munich, in Germany, the same Germany we're talking about, they went and collected money from Munich. München municipality government or is it Bayern they call it somebody who has not been contributing to IPOB funds they went and used the name of IPOB to collect money from Munich government on behalf of IPOB which they are not contributing to and they planned how to spend the money somebody who has not been contributing to IPOB for three years got a contract for the wife to fry puff puff for those who are going to do jamboree you're collecting contract to fry puff puff for your wife to fry puff puff so you can make money from ipob but you have not been contributing to ipob why should we allow such idiots to be in ipob and the fool without shame the idiot without shame went to social media and was writing rubbish that is what I say to people all the time. Do you see white people the way they are developed? It's because they have shame. But a black animal, a, a black beast from Africa has no shame. You don't contribute to IPOB. You're not an IPOB family member. You tagged yourself to people that went to Munich, Munich Council in Germany, collected money on behalf of for ipob project the german government gave them money to go and run ipob and went to go and do ipob community development project and you came you still had the the, the face the, there was no shame in your eyes you came and said oh my wife knows how to fry off off oh. let my wife fry off off they gave your wife money to fry off off and when i i went to germany i asked them i asked him did you contribute to ipob for three years, the answer is no. What right do you have to go and uh, benefit from what IPOB sourced, the money we sourced from, from, from Munich Council? He couldn't answer. People are very stupid. If you think that your stupid zoo behavior, that stupid African man's mentality, 
I am going to allow it in IPOB, then you are demented. That nonsense that goes into the brain of a black person. That is why you have coup in Africa all the time. If you make somebody a major general or a general in the army, the idiot things, oh, because I have gone and I have hand grenade, I can now launch an attack. I can try and take over. As some idiots did when I was in prison, they want to take over IPOB. This is the mentality of a black man. I am determined to cure it. I will cure it. If our people don't know the meaning of discipline, they don't know the meaning of, 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 of waiting for your turn, then they are mistaken. If you think IPOB is where you can come, you think people know who you are, they know your name, one day you start making noise, you will be out. You will be out. So you can gossip full time. And all your gossiping, all it does for us is they make people know who Namdekano is. They make the world know who IPOB is. And people come to us, once they listen to us, as they are doing this very morning, they become converted. So I don't give a damn. There are ways that black people behave. I studied black people for over 25 years. I know that our stupidity is in our brain and it must be cured. And we are determined to cure it. Yes, what do you want to say? Mazi. Yes. Ma, uh, Mazi, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure I want to ask you uh, as a uh, shot. It's an advice. Yes. That guy that sent you the things last uh, Friday, uh, his name is Spencer or whatever, whatever he answered. He answer. Please, my advice is search, search bastard. You should not be honorable for the education of such animals because we all know this, this guy. I have a, a brother who knew that guy very well in London. During, during the time we were in, 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 in prison, this guy and some other, other, uh, 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 Come and divide Nigeria that you will die in jail. But that same person I want to interview you, sir. Please. My own suggestion as I of course you know i will not grant listen to me listen listen very carefully listen very very carefully please thank you very much for your questions i am not going to grant any interview to any idiot i can't now he's a, i can't grant interview to a sabo to a sabo a born hardened hardcore sabo i cannot what for they are doing a job of filtering out the saboteurs amongst us and there will be no forgiveness god is my witness there won't be any all these hardened saboteurs there will be no forgiveness so the idiots who are going to plead on their behalf in the future you are wasting your time there will be none none because a black man is foolish we must teach them that being foolish cannot be a part of the new biafra we are dying to make sure that we restore never ever ever they must understand that we are live and we are direct and uh, i can tell you that our lines are jammed completely jammed i don't know how we are going to do it but our lines believe you me they are jammed they are jammed that i can assure you people are now calling maybe skype is a bit better and for those of you who are wondering what the skype is it's IPOB 2020 2020 at outlook.com. I is called IPOB Biafra. IPOB 2020 at outlook.com. That is our Skype. And if you call us there, of course, we will be able to take your call. Very, very important. And for those of you who have called before, some of you I can see your, your pictures or whatever, and I can tell. I don't want you to call again. Allow other people to call and have their voices heard. If you have called before and you keep calling, your line will be blocked. Please, I don't want that to happen. Your line will be blocked. Very, very important. Stop calling if you have called before. Please stop calling. Stop calling if you have called before. Stop calling, please. Let us take this call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on... on Skype, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Good afternoon. This is Biafra. I am here from the local government in Enugu State, Biafra land. And where are you calling from? And I based in Mumbai, India. Mumbai in India. Please go ahead. Yes. You see, please, I have this question to ask. Ask it, please. 
you know, in many of your broadcasts, you normally say that we, the Igbos, we are the Asians. Yes, the old people, yes. Okay. So, so the question is this. I listened to this eloquent speaker, this professor from, uh, I think, is it Uganda? Some Patrick something. I can't pronounce the Patrick name. Patrick Lumumba. Lumumba, yes. Lumumba, thank you very much. He made a comment. He yes. said that, as I was, was watching him, he said that the Igbos did not come from the Jews. Rather, the Jews come from the Igbos. I don't know if you are getting where I'm heading to. Yes, I And am. he made mention about that I am much concerned about the Igbos. So what I'm trying to say is this. If we are the Asian, that means Israel originated from us, not us originated from Israel. Is that correct? Or am I misunderstanding it? You are misunderstanding I it. I have said this many times and I will clarify it again. I don't know why we don't, we black people from Africa, we cannot handle, um, how can I put it, um, 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 multiple interpretation of a problem at the same time. We only want one single answer. But sometimes in life, things don't have just one single answer. There are multiple answers to one single question. And I'll put it to you this way. I have explained before that there are three people. The Igbo race you see today is a mongrel race. There are three people that make up the Igbo race. Three people. One are the ancient people, the Bijango people, the very old people, very ancient, that nobody can trace their origin they have been existing in our land from time immemorial they are called the ancients in Dibo. i also explained that there was a first wave of migration when the israelites were going back to to when they were leaving egypt to, to go back to the land of israel the promised land some people left and came to our land and i've explained this many times they came through sudan through niger through yoruba land and they settled in Igbo land the first wave of migration from there and then after the assyrian struck the land occupied by manasseh and ephraim then the second wave came the first wave came which was mainly essentially in anambra the eri came settled at the corner of Mambla river that was the first wave the, when they came to Iwe, people must understand this very clearly i don't know why we don't want to accept multiple should i say a slightly complex explanation as to our origin when they came to our land they met Igbo people that was why they named places in agolo like agolozo Igbo, which means this is agolo from this agolo you can go to where the Igbos are living somebody else now let me give you an example where are you staying where are you now i am in mumbai you are in mumbai so there is mumbai what that is delhi also is that correct yeah in india you are in mumbai if you want to go to delhi when you're going to ask somebody show me the way to delhi how would you put it to that person what would you say to that person I would say that uh, kind of show me the uh, road that leads to Delhi. Thank you. Uh, I, I rest my case. Are you in Delhi? You are in Mumbai, isn't it? You are in Mumbai asking somebody, show me the road that leads to Delhi. That was how the name Agolo Ozo Igbo came about. This is Agolo. Through this road, you go to where the Igbos are living. And the person that gave that very name, it cannot be an Igbo person. I don't, am I making any sense to you? Uh, is, what I'm, is, is it very clear to you? Because if I say I want to come, come, come to Mumbai where you are, I'll ask somebody, show me the road to Mumbai. Now, if I take that road to Mumbai, next time I will, it will make life easier for people. I will say, this is the road to Mumbai. But somebody in Mumbai cannot say this is the road to Mumbai. Somebody in Mumbai can only say this is the road to Delhi, perhaps. Do you understand what I'm saying? That was how it happened. Yes. That was how the name Agolo Ozo Igbo came about. When our uh, our our forefathers came, those that broke away, when Moses was leading the children of light away from Egypt into Israel, some broke away and came. And when they arrived, if you go to Aguleri and Umweri, when they arrived, they were the ones that said, "Na ndi bo biyebe there are people called Igbo people and they are living at Susan's place. Understand that's number one. That was our number. 
Now they started expanding, expanding. That is why you have the same name everywhere. People don't want to go into history and learn. I think um, our brother Emeka Madwe Wesi, if you go to Emeka Madwe Wesi's page on Facebook, he has taken painstakingly, he has been through these things over and over and over again. But because we are black people, we need one simple crude explanation for us to be able to understand what you're saying. Once you go into, yes, there is this, and there is that, and there is another thing, oh, a black man gets confused. No, there is no confusion in this. Now, that was the first wave. That is why you have Umweri. That is why you have Aguleri. You have Oraeri. You have Oweeri. In Imo State Oweeri, it's called Oweeri. The same family, the same lineage. That's number one. Then, the second phase came from Northern Israel from the, la the red lands of the Manasseh and Ephraim. And they are the Mbise, Ungwa people, some parts of Abia, and that are that you're seeing today with Ohafia. That's the way it is. The second phase, these are the people that have now tested the new what life in Israel meant. They are the ones that came. That is why I keep asking people this question. Listen very carefully to this. I keep asking people this question. Apart from the Fulani people that brought their version of light skin as a result of um, intermarriage and interbreeding with the Moors, who were also half Arabs, can you tell me any other people, any other race you can go to across West Africa that has light skinned as we are? That can give None. a mother can give birth to 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 Beke. You see, they give birth, and that child is almost white, with no contact with white people whatsoever. I want to ask you again: if you go across the entire coast of West Africa, are there any other group as light skinned as we are? None. None. If you go to the Sahel, are there people who are as light skinned as the Fulani people are, by virtue of their? of their of their should i say mixing with the arabs any other people oh i don't know much about that no i'm just telling you that there's none so that is what tells you about your dna about the proof as to where you and i keep asking people this question is it a coincidence therefore then that the same let us use jesus christ as an example jesus as an example how is it therefore that if there is no interconnectedness or interrelatedness why is it that it is only only israelites and their friends who praise god by the name they give to their children i repeat if there is no interconnectedness and i don't even want to talk about circumcision no let's leave that apart let me ask you this one if there is no interconnectedness why is it is only the jews the israelites and biafran people that worship god by virtue of the name they give to their children i will give you a very simple example do you know that the name chisoba is the name that jesus christ was given do people know the meaning of the name Yahweh Yeshua? Do they know the meaning of it? Or oh, Yeshua for short. Yeshua means only God can save. God saves. And in our land, before the white man brought his Bible to us, we were naming our children Chizoba. I want you to go to the scriptures, go to the Torah, and look for any traditional Jewish name. Be it Nehemiah, Hezekiah, anything you want to, uh, to, to look for. Go and find that name and find the transliteration. You will find the name in Igbo land. The same thing. When you say to people that the name, do you call Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. His name is Yeshua. Yeshua means Jesus. Yes. And in our land, it is Jesus. Yes. And there was a, now let me come again. There was a priestly clan. The house of Levi or Levi, as they may call it. Yeah. Holy people. The same way we have holy people in our Chuku in those days, before the Jukun people came and taught them how to sell us. And they started selling us. And the glory of God left our Chuku. As simple as that.
People don't understand. And I keep, they say, is it, is it, you know, Bobby? And I say to them, no, it is not. The same way the temple of Solomon was corrupted, the same way God said, don't bring idol into this temple. If you bring idol into this temple, I will, I will ask a foreign army to invade you. This temple will burn down. The same thing happened in Arochugu. God said, don't bring any idol into my temple. People said, no. They started selling people. They started doing deals. They started worshiping idol inside our temple. Which was the so-called um, 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 long juju, and what did God do? God sent exactly what God did to the temple in in in, in Jerusalem was exactly what happened in Arochugu. A foreign force came in the temple of Solomon in Jerusalem. They sent the Romans. The Romans burnt it down. In our own case, in Arochugu, the British came in 1904 and destroyed it. The same history, the same people. The same we have the Levites, the Leviticus, the Levitical priest is how you have Arochuku. People sent their first sons to go to Arochuku to learn how to worship God in truth and in every honesty. That is why it is there. Arochuku, do people know the meaning of the of the word Chuku? God, Arochuku, the I don't know our people, they don't understand the common sense and the history. I don't know what is wrong with them. They only want one explanation. That's why we are so mundane and our brain is very dull. And I repeat for the last time, three people make up the Biafra and everybody. You see Efik, Ibibio, you see Ishokiri, you see um, um, Anan, you see Isoko. Even Isoko, Isoko, they answer Igbo names, Isoko, Isoko. Are people aware of that? Urobo, are you aware of that? That these are all, all everybody is Igbo, I-G-B-O. As the migration was coming, the first wave from Egypt, they stopped as they, as they cleared on those states. That is why I don't want to go too far before they say we are related to Yoruba. I'll go into that later on, when our brain can even absorb this. That is why our mothers dress the same way till tomorrow morning. Those who are not part of us, they don't dress the way we do. That is what that is that is what can tell you who you are, where you are coming from, and where you are going. Those ancient people are there till tomorrow morning. We intermarried, we interbred, and we all became Igbo. All of us became Igbo. All of us at the same time we became Igbo. The ancients were there. The first wave came. The second wave came. As simple as that, please. And I call it the Holy Trinity, the very genuine Holy Trinity of Biafra. The ancients who were on the ground, the first wave from Egypt, and the last wave that came from the Holy Land. Thank you very much for listening. We are live and we are direct, and I love such questions. I want intelligent questions, please. People should ask difficult, even if it is the one you have heard from in Sabo somewhere, ask us as the one from Germany. People that you give respect to. You know, black people, one day it gets into their brain, they think they've arrived. Oh, I can break IPOB. I can start my own. I can do this. I can do that. They try it and they see that there is no way out. They cannot survive. They cannot succeed because they are not part of us and can never be part of us. The caller on the line, can you hear me? We are live. We are direct. The whole world is listening and this is Radio Biafra. Please go ahead. Yeah, this is this is Fortunatus Eze. I'm calling you from Law Buku in Umunochi local government. The land that has been taken over by the Fulani Janjaweed. Thank you. Yeah. It was given over as the first Roga in Abia State. The first Roga in Abia State by Otis of Carlo gave it to the Fulani yes. Janjaweed. And today they are killing us there. That is the brain of an evil yes. politician. That is the way they operate. Very oh, so sad. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Sir, it, uh, it is a very uh, disheartening situation that um, even the late, the, our mothers had to go on a rally on Monday. Some of them went on bare-chested rally, complaining and agitating, chasing the Fulanese out of our land because they have taken over our bushes. They have prematurely harvested our crops. And these crops we are taking to the king's palaces where they have supported the implementation of this mayhem. So I am asking and pleading that IPOB should come to our rescue, probably within the within the security measures to at least curtail the situation. Because right now many of us are not in town and we are afraid to go back because many of us have gone to search for greener pastures and probably the villages are scanty. So these people are taking this advantage and are using this against us. 
now they are much in our state in our village looking at the way the other state government has already isolated our path from other states invariably now this issue is coming up now i think all of us are in danger of course we can't travel danger. very safely all of us are in great danger this of rally course. will also continue again next week but at least we need a backup like something that will calm us down will give us more hope because i think the time as we go, approach the day going nearer we find out that things are really getting worse things are really getting worse we also believe that but at this point in time thank you very much and i will answer your question no thank you very much for that please so others can also come in now I have I, I keep saying this all the time and I'll keep saying it until we learn you know that they say if you want to hide something from a black from a from a if you want to hide something from a black man put it in a book we don't read and I am sure that Lord Buku, there are some saboteurs from there sabo from there as there is a, the local traditional ruler is one of them they don't learn from history. People are so you know, that that is I I so that is why it is very very easy for a white man to take advantage of a black man because we black people we don't reference history or should I say we do not revere history. Can you tell me why anybody that went to school as I did, you know the history of the Fulani and the Hausa people, and you give your land to Fulani? Is the worst mistake you can ever make in your life. The very worst mistake. They are like a parasite. They are like a leech, blood sucking demons. And in the olden days, they may not have gotten away with it, but now you have Britain supporting them. Britain has an agenda. The agenda of Britain is to stifle Biafra, to kill off Biafra. They are working for darkness, they are working for Lucifer. The all that they are posed, all that they have in their brain is how do we destroy Biafra? Because Biafra is the light. They used to Ojo Sokalo. They put a bait in front of him. Oh, presidency. Oh, you will be this. You are our favorite son. Oh, come, give us what we want. The idiot foolishly gave them Lord Ubu. And look at the consequences today. To remove them from that land, you need to go to war to remove, to remove them from there. Do you understand it now? That is why when I look at an Ifulefu, and I will say that Ifulefus are possessed by the devil. You have a full of yapping and talking rubbish every day, talking nonsense every day, but their land is under occupation by an enemy. They know it's a very vicious, very brutal enemy. They will never talk about it. Now, all they do is, some of you are foolish. Some of you are foolish. You keep responding to saboteurs and to a fool. You people are so hopeless. Any idiot that responds to a fool, you're a fool yourself. And I will tell you why. The reason why they are doing it is as they are in our villages, in Lobuku, in Lobanta, in Okwa, taking over our land. They keep gossiping, taking your eyes and attention away from the real problem. That is the job of an Ifulefu. That is the job of Sabo. That was why Loretta Onochie recruited them. As they are writing and, and um, taking your eyes away from the real issues and focusing on gossip, your land is being taken. By the time you, you've run out of data, or you, you're tired of gossiping, you go back, you, don't know, you no longer have a village to go to. Your mothers will start protesting. You don't know? Some of you don't know the amount of enemies that Biafra have. Because white people can see what a, a primitive black man cannot see. White people have deduced that it is only a Biafra, only Biafra can save Africa. They know it. So what they have done is to go and groom a very primitive race like Fulani to come and sit on top of us. And given that black people are susceptible to envy, a black man, a black man will not envy a white man who is doing very well. No, 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 of course not. He will admire him. 
but a black man once he sees another successful black man the first thing that comes to their mind is envy and destruction that that is the part of the dna in a black man we are going to remove in Gaza. that dna that dna of jealousy and the envy and the evil in a black man we will remove it in biafra we will take it away from all of you who are cursed and who are possessed of course we remove them we are going to pursue all of them from our land they will never and the day we the day we commence our pursuit of foreigners from our land you will see the world media bbc will start writing you see that satanic bbc that work of lucifer that that jezebelian establishment that bbc evil you will see them the same thing and i feel very very ashamed that despite what bbc did to us during the war and what they are doing now some so-called prominent evil people will go to bbc to go and be talking rubbish you give them audience when they came we asked them are you for real they said yes i got them interview my wife gave them interview. People said they will realize that their mission was to destroy. Their name is just BBC. The same way we are being destroyed today. The same way that the mission of some of some governors, because of what they can get for themselves and their children, they sell all of us. And when you see us in IPOB, we are dying. We are every blessed day. We are doing the best we can to save you. You can't even understand it. Because you're a nigger, you're black, you're foolish. Your brain cannot comprehend. Now you understand it. I remember the idiot writing. Oh, don't give money to, to any pro Biafra group until they sit together. The idiot has not contributed one dime in three years. The bastard has not contributed not one single penny in three years. That is a black man. That is how they listen. That is how they behave. And that's why we are poor. That is why families are our land conquering us every blessed day. And you are busy responding to fools when your land is under occupation. That is their job that they're doing. Their masters have paid them, distract them confuse them put uh, 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 um, confusion in their midst and you idiots you fall for it because you gravitate towards gossip i don't know what is it with gossiping and an evil man you people are useless honestly speaking we i have a caller on sky please give us your name and where you're calling from if you may the, the caller on sky for the last time your name and where you're calling from I'm calling from um, Indonesia. Indonesia, please go ahead. We are listening. Uh, please, uh, my question is, um, um, please, uh, on all this thing that is going on uh, in our land today, like all these Fulani people pregnanting our our young ladies, please, uh, I'm for my own. I'm saying that this thing will be an obstacle for us tomorrow. Because these uh, children that um, they are, they are giving birth to our 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 people this time around, uh, in times to come, it will be an obstacle uh, like, like they have been to us this this time as we are now. Please, what do we have to do to prevent this thing from happening? Because I'm seeing this tomorrow as in future, it will be a very big problem to our people, to our unborn children. Uh, there is nothing much we are going to do than to you know do all we can to get um, Biafra as quickly as possible. That is the only thing we are going to do. What else can we do? Because some of these foolishness that were given birth to between sixty-seven and till date, they are the sabo you see everywhere. Sabo you see them everywhere. You think that they are, they are, they are answering if I'm a chupu. They are answering if you okay. They are answering uh, 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 what are they, these are stupid names, Emeka. You think that they are with you? You don't know it's a it's a it's with blood in them. They will always welcome their people. So when they see our villages being occupied, they start the homecoming of their people. So they are happy, they are relaxed. And you have our daughters who are not getting married. And you have uh, uh, your your women; they are not getting married to our men. And they cannot sit down and ask themselves why. Because most of your men are abroad. And they have married foreigners. So who's going to marry you? If Biafra doesn't come, who is going to marry you? I keep asking. 
That is why it is even in their interest to make sure that we uh, we get Biafra as quickly as possible. And there is no need going to your pastor and praying, oh, pastor, I need a husband. When that husband is somewhere in Indonesia, so husband is in Malaysia, some, they have to get their papers. And for you to get the papers of the country you're in, you have to marry a local person there. Don't you understand it? Anyway, they, of course, we are black. What do we know? Common sense eludes us. Very, very sad indeed. We are live and we are direct. And the time now is approximately, um, should we say, 8, 8.26 in the morning. 8.26 in the morning. Uh, the same way black people, everything is gas explosion. They're they, 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 they killing people in Lagos. Oh, say, it's, it's gas explosion. And they will agree. And they're all graduates. They are sensible people. And I very much struggle to believe it. We are not sensible has never been and can never be. I have a caller on the line. Please give us your name and where you're calling from, please. Good morning, Mazi. Good morning to My you. My name is Chiwoke. Chiwoke, I'm from Odiungwa, United States. And where are you calling from? From Odiungwa, the government. I'm calling from North Cyprus. From Cyprus, yes. Yes, go ahead. What yes. question do you have to ask? Ask your question, please. Ask your question. I want to ask question. How did Fulani Janjaweed enter Nigeria? And now why did the British love supporting them so much? The British, because I have said, the British has a mission. The British wants to play Lord. You know, for look at look at it this way. Do you know the meaning of the word Lord? Do you know the meaning of the word Lord? Yeah. What is the meaning of yes, it? Yes, yes. A Lord, let me say, a kind of um, someone he's at the top. Uh, it's my owner. Uh, 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 my owner. Yes. My master. Yes. My yes. owner. You you own me. Once I call you a Lord, that means you own me. You are my own. You own me. Do you know that Lord is a name that is reserved for God only in heaven? Yes. Good. But why would I'm coming on? Why would Britain have it as a title to give to a human being? If you ask me, because they love to own people. Thank you very much. Now they discovered something very simple. They discovered that they want to play God. You know, they are white. They are Caucasian. They are God. They want to own every other person. They went to China. China said no. They went to Japan. Japan said you're talking rubbish. They went to all parts of the world. But wherever you have black people, they succeeded in subduing them. Be it in South America, be it in Africa, be it in South Asia, places like Papua New Guinea. That has been the history of black people. But people never take time to study these things, you see. Anywhere you have black people anywhere in the world, they are suffering. Somebody is their Lord. So I went into prayers for nearly a month and I kept asking God, did you create us this way? What is the problem? Why is it that anywhere you have black people anywhere in the world, they are always suffering. Somebody is always controlling their lives. Why? God said it's because of the way you reason. You black people, there is something wrong with the way you process information. And I said, how? Yes. God said to me, look at Japan. I said, okay. I went into the history of Japan. I realized that the Dutch, you see Holland, the Dutch, they went to Japan to go and colonize yes. Japan. Listen. They came, they said, oh, we are trading. Oh, give us sushi. We give you gunpowder. We give you gun. And we'll come back. Do you know what the Japanese people did? The emperor realized that these are spies. They've come to check out how strong or how weak they are. The Japanese took a few guns from the Dutch and gunpowder. The Dutch went back to go and bring reinforcement to come and conquer Japan. When they came, they were facing the replica guns that they had given to the Japanese. The Japanese were waiting for them to come. And Japan was not colonized. Do you understand? Now, compare that with listen or compare that with when the white man came to West Africa, went to Biafra, came to Biafra land, came to Eja land, came to, to, to Ibibio land, came to the land of um, Efik. What did we do? They gave us salt, they gave us sugar, they gave us tobacco, 
They gave us gin, kai kai, my uncle, whiskey, hot hot drink. Not even up, local program didn't come by then. Do you know what we did? We gave them our sons and our daughters, say take for free. The more alcohol they give us, the more we say take. Is that thing not happening today? Look at your ruga you have today in law, Uku. Because you have given money to a traditional ruler, the same mentality of slavery. Because you've given money to a traditional ruler, the traditional ruler will say, Take our land, take our children, chase them to Abuja, to Lagos. I don't care. The same thing happened. And you want God to love you? Do you see why I keep saying that a black man is, is his own worst enemy? Because of the way we reason, because of the way we process information. Now, let me give you another example. I was studying. And I was studying respect and racism on my own. Nobody taught me. I was at university. And I know one mad woman was saying that um, they don't know if I went to school that I'm a very good orator. I don't know how you can be a good orator without having attended a university. I don't know how that's. I don't know any orator you can name in history who did not attend a university. I don't know of one. But we'll come to that later. I was studying the history of racism and equality on my own. And I kept asking God again, why is it that blacks don't have respect? And God said to me, blacks are always begging. They never do anything. They only beg for equality. They don't earn respect. They want to plead and beg to be respected. And I said, how? And Elohim pointed me to Russia, the history of Russia and nuclear weapons you have today all over the world. <laughs> After the Second World War, Russia realized after America had dropped a bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki that America possessed a force that could allow the USA to rule the whole world. Do you know what Russia did? I'm asking you, do you know what they did? No, I don't know. Russia went and built their own nuclear weapons as well. And now, rather than America talking to them or talking down on them, America now invited them to a table and said, let's sit down and discuss and talk. That is the meaning of respect. Seen that there will be exactly. No, not just that. That thing you have, I also have it. Do you think there will be racism in the world if black people can produce cars in Africa that Africans are using? Do you think there will be racism if blacks are going to the, to the moon? Do you think there will be racism if we are launching satellites every blessed day from Africa to go to space? Do you think there will and be racism... And to use black against blacks also. Uh, because that is the way a black person's DNA works. Listen. A black person's DNA works. They are wired to go after people coming to save them. That's a black man for you. That's the way the reason. You will see them, they will not do anything. Remember Butelezi and uh, Mandela. Butelezi was against Mandela. Not because Mandela did anything wrong to him, no. But because Butelezi cannot stand another black man coming out to get freedom for all of them. Instead, let everybody be a slave. That is the brain of black people. That is why we are backwards. You don't produce mobile phone, you don't produce laptop computers, you produce nothing. You don't generate any electricity. You can't even build your own roads. You bring Julius Beggar to build your bridges for you. You bring Chinese construction firms to build your roads for you. You don't produce light. You have engineers. You go to Germany, you beg Siemens to come and build electricity grid for you. And you want them to respect you? You are very sick, you are an idiot. They can, a white man cannot respect you until you begin to do those things that a white man can do that is why they say anything a man can do a woman can do it because they are trying to garner respect for women that is how life is anything you can do and i can do it they respect me why don't the ginger would respect you today why is it that the families are killing you they don't respect you they don't respect you because they will kill you and you will do nothing they know they have the british behind them britain will defend them of course they know but listen to me america went to war in vietnam america is the was the foremost power in the world went to war with rice farmers in vietnam america thought they would win the war america went to the war the vietnamese said no sheer willpower vietnam said no you can't conquer us that is how men behave if it's black people oh give up now sign surrender surrender now our children are suffering why can't you just surrender 
That is the mentality of a black man. That is why black people are at the bottom of the world, at the bottom, always begging, always begging. We are in this nation in America. Please, why can't you help us every time it's racism? Because you are foolish. You are black and you are foolish. That's why they're stamping on your head. That is why they kneel on your neck. I asked a very simple question. How many Asians have they killed in America? How many South Koreans have they killed in America? How many Japanese have they killed? How many Russians have they killed? How many Spanish people have they killed? Why can't black people reason? Why they don't reason is only God their God. Only their God knows. I have no idea. Only to gossip. Yap, 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 yap. Every blessed day, what is the newest gossip? They go and they gossip their lives away. Meanwhile, Fulani are in your villages. They are killing you. They are raping your mothers. A sabo, that doesn't appeal to him. What appeals to Sabotua is how to derail a movement designed to free them. Very, very sad indeed in this UG. Very, very sad, I tell you. Very, very sad. We are live and we are direct. Our line, of course, is jammed as always. I can't even pick any single call because the lines are jammed the main line itself so many messages it is untrue somebody asked me a question well sophia is trying to call but i cannot call because there is somebody on the background who has refused to drop their call they are there the call is in the background and they have refused to drop it and if they do not drop it, I do not see how we are going to take any more calls. Is there blocking all the calls? As I said before, um, once you receive multiple calls on WhatsApp, on on uh, what's it called? On on on. Um, if, if you have called before, don't call again, please. If you have called before, don't call again. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you're calling from, if you may. Good morning to you. I'm calling from the heart of the zoo. I call the uh, Niger area. Good morning. You are calling from the Niger area. Good morning to you. Please go ahead. Yes, the capital city. The capital city. My name is Wokin Selena. I'm from uh, uh, Abon State in uh, Nishago. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Province. I want to, I'll be trying to get you online since all this was in the world. The whole world is trying to get me okay. online. The whole world, I can tell you that. Mandiator and DCOG, everybody wants to get me online. Please go ahead. Yes. I see me. God bless you. Uh, what I want to say, there is one of our um, brothers is from a gala. I want to ask, because I'll be saying that let us um, have a, a member of IPAB family in Equatoria uh, Guinea before I left. I come back to the zoo. Yes. So one one problem or the other. Yes. Then the man is from what you like what we are doing. I want to ask because we are only two now. So he said that to let us form a family. I'm telling let us form a family in agree, but I call our deputy dear in Malabo dear and say that we should wait until maybe when we get four. Then that is when we can they will give two of you can start a family. I know we have a family in Kuturu Guinea, maybe you can start a unit. I will try and ask. We are there. Yeah. And now that you mentioned yeah. the Kuturu I have something to say about it. Let's run. Please go ahead. Yes, I have something. Yes, I'm a woman. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not longer in Equatoria Guinea. I'm in, uh, in the heart of Zoom. That's where I'm staying now. I will not go back to there. I have a master. What is not the other? But I don't want to go there, my leader. But I say, with people, God bless you. But what I want to say, people are complaining that we let us go back to. Because one day like that, there is a message I received that saying that let us go back to uh, go and do voting on Nigeria. What I'm saying, I am coming. Chineke like Bonya Hoko. Who says you should go and vote for who again? They have come. They have come again. Will you have to vote? Who said you should it vote? Be a child play because it will be a child play. Who said you should vote? It is what they are meaning. Uh, these people that uh, these people that say that uh, they will lose our leader to call themselves leader because I believe they are not our leader. They are dreaming. They are dreaming. I, I, I can assure you that they are. They are dreaming, my dear brother. They are dreaming. I can understand that could be a debate as to why or or. To
to have somebody in charge of our land let's say state elections or whatever that can even be uh, understood you know uh, but to tell me to go and vote in a zoo or no we allowed that to happen the last time as a gesture of goodwill to prove to them that the zoo elections can never work we have proven that to them people voted in Imo state and they took number four and made him number one and I, they have come again <laughs> oh please oh please talking about equatorial guinea of course a gala is biafra land today there are Igbo people in equatorial guinea it is a recognized language there in the next hundred years now should people continue to give birth to flip they say oh, they're not Igbo. hey how come i don't say that but they are there today oh. go and check they are there in Ikotoro Guinea. Igbo language is spoken in Ikotoro Guinea. They have a community there. And once Biafra comes, they will come back home. Those that want to come, they will come back home. And I've said it before. They say the landmass of Biafra land is not that big and all that rubbish. And I'm saying to them, once Biafra is restored, every black American that wants it will be given Biafran citizenship. Any black American who wants it will be given Biafran citizenship. They will all come back home. Instead, we will build a hundred story building. If one hundred story, one single building that is a hundred stories can contain the whole of Afaruku, my entire village can live there with space to spare. So we know what we are doing. So for some of the idiots saying uh, there is no land, what are all that rubbish? Why do you think man conceived skyscraper why do you think so why i ask you people who don't know anything go, go, go. they are playing with Bia they don't know the plan we have for biafra you see al -Majri, they will be begging to come to biafra land to buy houses you know they will still be you know and they'll keep stealing even the zoo they'll keep stealing themselves dry that is how they are because they believe in feudalism but in Biafra land, I can assure you, in the land of Biafra, when they come, we'll say no to them. We are going to build a masterpiece that when you see it, you will say, I, I, I would never in a billion years believe that black people are capable of being reasonable enough to build a nation like this. That is what we are fighting for. We are not against anybody. We want to be able to lead or live a dignified life on this earth. Dignity. Not all the time begging. All the time begging. Oh, please accept us now. We are black. You are discriminating. Every time. You people have no shame. These black people, we have no shame. No class. If I was a black leader, at the turn of the time that slavery was ended in america you know what i will do i will go and take a land somewhere for only black people to develop and to grow and to build do you understand it i will grow it that's what we are doing when people look at the size of IPOB all over the world, they marvel. They say, how is that possible? Something that no one has ever done before. Nobody. Not even our great leader. Our eternal leader was able to do what we have done. We have no media. You know, we, oh, we, if you don't have any media, you cannot do anything. I said we create our own. Did we not create it? Did we not create it? They said, oh, they, they won't listen to you, nobody. I said, we will make them listen to us. They won't write about you. I said, we will make them to write about us. Continue doing what you're doing. That is why we are as formidable as we are today. Unstoppable. Everybody was, a, every other people. Look at the, when OPC came, their leaders supported them. Their governors, everybody supported OPC. Yes? When Boko Haram, as it, even a terrorist group came, Boko Haram, they enjoyed the support of uh, the late Buhari, all the north. They were with them because their aim was to remove Jonathan. When Iswa came, ISIS in West Africa, all the ruling heads of the North supported them. Now you, you are you following? All of them gave them support. But the time IPOB came, 
first was Masop. <laughs> it was Rike came and he suffered and suffered and suffered. Sometimes I can understand uh, how they frustrated him. He suffered and suffered and suffered, went to jail, people were killed. Sabo ganged up. <laughs> They kept frustrating him to the point where they converted him into a sabo like themselves. <laughs> you don't know I added all those things. I, I took time and I studied everything. I studied everything. I knew. I know that there would be obstacles. I knew it. I know our people will fail. That was why before I went to the zoo in 2015, I said, I will not let you down, but you will let me down. But fortunately for me, you don't know how much I love IPOB. You don't know how much I love you people. You have no clue. You have no understanding. As I was in jail, I was in detention, in communicado. Somebody came to me and said, do you know what is happening outside? I said, no. They said, IPOB have blocked head bridging on each other. They have taken over everywhere. I said, what? Well, he said, yes. I said, why? They said, because they will not let you down. I shed tears in prison. I said, my God in heaven. They said, we will not let our leader down. Who has been. He said it before he was arrested. My deputy chairman went to the archives and brought out the clip where I said, I will not let Biafrans down, but they will let me down. Biafrans went mad all over the world. They blotted bridge on it for four days. And the world knew who Namdekano is. Do you see how we roll? Then how can I disappoint such people? I would rather die than disappoint them. It's impossible. Impossible. Do you see how we came to where we are today? Why Chuku Kikabiyama is with us? Why anything we touch turns into gold? Why we are able to do things that other mortals cannot do? There is nobody. ANC was arguing or agitating for equality one man one vote in south africa that we are not asking for separation but you see this ipob we are going to make britain understand that amalgamating the north and the south was a mistake and they will accept it write it down on a piece of paper and mark my words they will accept it that coming to africa to create nations is an act of racism all of you are jumping up and down saying black lives matter let's end racism i am the the core of racism the real racist construct are the states you have in africa that is why they cannot develop divergent value systems is called i think we've argued that convincingly very many times i have a caller on skype your name and where you're calling from we are ipob we are live and we are direct and the whole world is listening Yes, my leader. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Yes, sir. Please, I will have two important questions to ask. But before I go ahead, allow me to say one thing from the bottom of my heart, please. Please hurry up and make it very quick. Your questions are more important. Yes, please go ahead. Yes, I know, sir. I want to say that no way from fashion against you on this surface earth will come to pass in Jesus' name. Is it? My brother, may God bless you. May God bless you for the challenge you have chosen. The same way Moses chooses this challenge for the children of Israel to deliver them from the hands of uh, uh, Pharaoh in Egypt. This is the way you have taken it upon yourself. May God protect and guide you in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the night. You see? Nothing will happen to you. Nothing. I'm going to the bagger. They have not given birth to the idiot. Who is the fool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now my question goes like this, sir. Uh, when Biafra is restored, where are the Biafras going to have their, their what do they call after uh, university? This one they are doing in Kaduna in Nigeria because I see in Kaduna they, they don't teach them anything. Their youth service. Where are we going to do our youth service in Biafra land? Because there will be no youth service in Biafra land, but at the age of 16, there will be compulsory military service for everybody. There will be no youth service once you graduate. We don't believe in that garbage, that nonsense. That
that is artificial unity is not going to work but you are going to serve your military everybody will receive military training at the age of 16 everybody will serve in the military for one year so you have military training so no idiots can come up on this and say they want to do a coup that nonsense will not happen okay sir okay so my last question goes like this sir Yes. I could remember last time I was hearing for this this pig living in the in the in the swamp. He was saying that you sent some boys for him, and that he still has some boys with him. I don't know. I did not send. Listen, listen very very carefully. Listen very very carefully. Listen very very carefully, please. I don't want us to be taken backwards, but I want to state this for the for record purposes. You know, we are black people. You need to explain something maybe a thousand times over before a black person can grasp it. That is how slow our processing um, 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 faculty is in our brain. I sent people to Kotonu, the very high command of IPOB to Kotonu. I'm explaining it now so the whole world can hear. I sent our high command to Kotonu to go and meet with the person that you referred to. We had a meeting and I spoke to him also on the phone. An agreement was reached. I honored my own part of the agreement and I gave him money. And I sent our men to go to Eagwater to go and see him. And they set up, they betrayed our men. They set up our men and they were arrested by DSS. And our men came back. Nobody's with them unless you're Sabu. What Sabu Tours and baby traitors are baby, what baby Sabu Tours and traitors are doing is that they start their nonsense they collect money from the zoo or from a politician they start their rubbish i know one that the politician in anambra bought a laptop for bought him mobile phone gave him some money and he started work the same way that they're doing today and when the idiot felt that our people was upset and looking for him the idiot ran to to the place that you're talking about and sought refuge there and today they are washing plates and doing all manner of um, nonsense uh, for 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 their master and they are Lord in this case. Nobody is with them. Nobody, no human being is with them. The day we rise up, the whole world will know. As I keep saying, people say, oh, do this underneath. Don't announce it. I said, no. I don't fight like a coward. The day we commence the world, I will announce it and the whole world will know we have commenced. And then let me see the idiot that will come and blame us. And I'll ask them where are the full and that is why I want all of you to spend time. Go to Twitter. I've been warning you. Everybody must go to Twitter. Go to Twitter so we can tell the whole world. Because Facebook is suppressing and repressing. So that is why we must do what we are doing. I don't respond to gossip and you must know that. I don't respond to it. What I do is I ignore the idiots for people to have whatever views or opinion they may have or they may wish to have in their skull. That is entirely their business. As for us, our job is to restore Biafra and that's exactly what we are doing. That is exactly what we are doing. We are live and we are direct. And the time now is approximately, approximately, should I say six minutes to nine six minutes to nine i'm using i'm taking calls mostly from skype ipob 2020 at outlook.com if you don't have skype then i am sorry but that's why we're taking calls this morning because a lot of people are, <laughs> are clogging up our main line is too much over four thousand missed calls it's unbelievable the caller on the line can you hear me please i have a caller on 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 skype can you hear me no they are not paying attention they are not paying attention i'm sure they will keep calling and calling and calling and calling but they do not pay attention and i don't understand why they're not paying attention i do not understand let us go and see if we can get some of these people to participate in what we are doing this very morning we are live and we are direct there are some people that i promised i was going to call and i want to make sure that we connect them this very morning this very morning we are live and we are direct i have another caller on the line this caller can you hear me your name and where you're calling from please good morning my name is nando hangos Nam your hang was my name said please go ahead. And where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Italy. From Italy, please go ahead. Oh, you see, what I want to ask is uh, concerning this our uh, one million match you postpone. 
I would have suggested maybe we organize another one million match here in Europe because as you can see many things have reopened here in Europe so that the world will know that we are not we are not we are not going back. That's a very good idea actually. Well that is a very good idea. Maybe we should march in Europe as the globalists yes, and the liars are with their media continue to deceive the whole world. They know that hydroxychloroquine works. But the media that is how cons that is just like the zoo conspiracy they know that we know that buhari is dead and is not there they somehow with their media and their influence they try to convince idiots otherwise and not us they uh, end this rubbish take hydroxychloroquine uh, zinc and uh, the other one the other drug and let every reopen everywhere they are saying no they want to play. maybe europe is a very good bet Maybe we should think about having a million man march in Europe. Preferably, uh, where should we do this? Maybe in Belgium at the EU. Yes, sir. Yes. Or maybe we can okay. go to Switzerland at the UN or somewhere very neutral and then have this one million match. It's a very good idea and it's something we are going to consider. Thank you very, very much for that. I have another caller on the line. This caller, give us your name and where you are calling us from. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? The, for the last time, the caller on Skype, can you hear me? And your line is very, very loud because you are listening to your own voice. Something we do not condone or tolerate on this very platform. We had somebody who said he was going to tell us what happened in Lagos in the in the gas explosion uh, we are hoping and praying we'll be able to get him on the line but unfortunately we have not been able to do so we are trying to see if we can get him on the line i have not been able to do so to see if we can get a perspective as to the foreign explosions in lagos that they are calling gas explosion i don't know what is wrong with this generation they are so confused and they love lying so much they love to lie so much i don't know why that is the case i do not understand why that is the case people are calling us all over the place and we're, our lines are so jammed is untrue jammed <laughs> my unbelievable god in heaven god in heaven <laughs> the calls are too much calls are too much let's take this very call i have a caller on the line please give us your name and where you're calling from please for the last time my goodness they don't listen on this UG, black people we never ever listen we never ever listen i don't understand i have no idea why we don't reason why we don't listen i said when you call us make sure that all your lines are down make sure that you turn down your system they don't listen they don't this UG. hey the caller on skype can you hear me Please, your name and where you are calling from, if you may, please. Mm. My leader, you have just got another new child last week. <laughs> wonderful. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. From uh, Iceland. Uh, IPOB have just uh, been registered in Iceland. That is in Iceland? Our, it, that is wonderful. Old, Iceland. We took our oath last week, Saturday. Wonderful. Wonderful wonderful so we have now been recognized as an existing entity in iceland is that correct yeah uh we, we have not yet registered but we, we just started an old we are processing for the registration okay you have started a family in iceland is that correct yes I, wonderful yeah, that is family great. sir that is wonderful that is great absolutely amazing that is wonderful thank you very very much yeah. thank you thank you please yeah. uh, it's a very wonderful news that is to tell them that those who said um uh, who joined their zoo masters to be saying that uh, ipob is a, is a terrorist movement and uh, i have written a letter to 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 the airplane tunnel asking him okay. asking him why the tag of um, terrorism cannot be lifted uh, on IPOB, considering that we have been begging them, we are the ones taking them to court, begging them for over two years. Come to court and explain why IPOB is um, is um, is a terrorist group. They have not come. 
appeal for two and a half years because they know what they are running from i thank you very much and this this new this brand new family this brand new family in iceland i salute all of you very much i salute all of you very very much thank you thank you thank you for this i am very very glad that we are making progress we are making immense progress somebody uh, is from somebody is in um is in the zoo let us call them and see if we can get them to give us a perspective as to what happened i have somebody by the name pastor jack who is on the line can you tell us what is happening in ajawa state where we understand our people or should i say a significant number of our people are living in lagos please go ahead thank you good morning my leader my name is Pastor Jack Chigozi. I'm calling from Lagos. Thank yeah, you. concerning the incident that happened at uh, Inua Muhammad Street, Ajawa Estate, uh, we visited us and the incident actually occurred on the 28th by 7 p.m. specifically. Although we went to, to that place to find out what actually happened. The woman selling, uh, it is a woman selling a uh, uh wedding this wedding gas she she says wedding gas covered and oil so we went to that place to actually uncover what happened mm -hmm. so this woman happens that this woman has been selling all through the day but exactly 7 p.m she closed her business and her back going home yes so two pers two persons came demanding they want to buy gas so the woman said no, she has closed. She's not actually she's not actually going to open the, 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 the shop anymore. But they begged her, but before I proceed, the two persons, one is Anafa and the other person that came with him. So they actually begged, begged the woman. The woman said, okay, her daughter should attend to them while she do another thing. Mm -hmm. Other people who are also working that shop we are within. Mm -hmm. But none of them can actually say what triggered that explosion because if you look at the situation, the way it went off, it, it looks similar to what happened to Abu Lado. Because nobody, even the people in that vicinity, that we are not harmed. Because actually, six persons died on that spot. They are far. And the person he came with, the woman, the daughter, one teller, a teller person there, and one other person, that six persons died. There many people were wounded. So all the people that didn't suspect injury that are a little bit far away from that incident, nobody could actually explain what ignited the fire that caused the explosion but the way we see from the things we see this woman have been there over 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 years or most doing that business without as uh, without a uh, similar occurrence but to our amazement why actually that day it happened that way and uh, if she had been selling all the day nothing of that nature had happened why is it actually that by that 7 pm on the dot that this affair came in with this person this thing actually took place. So several uh, media uh, outfits came, the BBC, Popeye, and other people, but nobody could actually give exactly what ignited or what triggered that explosion. But if you look at, if you're analyzing the way the explosion went, you see that because this place, gas is being sold there. And if you want to, if you, if you are, uh, uh, if you are con conversant, with how explosion works or dynamite works, you know that anywhere we have this gas or gas is used in in, in preparing this uh, in, in improvised explosive devices. So it can actually deduce to the fact that there is something a professional uh, a, a, a professional has actually uh, actually designed this thing and to explode this particular thing at, at, at exactly that that hour that we hour. That is the estate, yes, just like a uh, first time and other places, many more people are living in that estate, and there are other people as well that have their shop. We also have school close to that place, but the school, because of coronavirus, is not on session. So, this is what actually happened in that place, my leader. Thank you very much. And um, so, in your opinion, it is not a gas explosion, although they used a gas premises. To disguise it to look like one it, it is not gas explosion is that correct exactly that is 
so my, my, my analysis, that is what I said. Because initially, some people were telling, telling the world that it was a cooking gas. Other people said different things. Or to have to get to that cell, we actually look at the whole thing. We look at the whole thing and say, this person has been selling this thing over the years, and people have been buying and seeing. What why actually, this particular day, and by this, this hour, and again, why is it that when this affair with this person came, came in, in, in Tricycle, which we normally call Marwa here, so when we begin to analyze this thing, we see that this thing is traceable to what happened in Abuja, where we saw the people park their vehicles somewhere close to the riverside before the explosion, explosion in Abuja was detonated. So similar thing of that nature. Why this time frame? Why, why this week hour? So when we try to connect the dots in all this one thing, we see that I can, I can deduce that this is a professional, is professionally designed to happen that way. That is my deduction, sir. Thank you very much for that update. That is why in Biafra land, going to school will be compulsory. In Biafra land, you have to go to school. It is compulsory. You must go to school and you must... We are going to teach a course called Common Sense, where you will be able to reason properly. The reason why the zoo is the way it is today is because people do not reason properly. A lot of people are not actually properly, properly educated. They are not. They are not. They are not. Unbelievable. You, they don't investigate. They don't have forensics. Nobody can go to a bomb site to say this was actually what happened. These are the materials used. This is what we found. They always send BBC to go there. They'll do what I'll tell you. It's castle. <laughs> we don't know what we are in for. We have come to the end. Our program this very morning is only for two hours every Friday morning without fail. If something is going to happen for us not to come on air, we shall then inform you. We have come to you this very morning to answer some of your questions and we shall do same next week Friday as well. But for some of you who couldn't get in, I will try to run a three hour program on Sunday and I will only preach for two hours and I will take uh, we we'll take out one hour to try and answer some of your questions. But do not understand what Sabo people are doing to you, to your psyche. As you are responding to them, so are their masters, so are their parents' relatives. Umune Papa are now moving into your villages, the Janjaweed. Anybody who is against the coming of Biafra is a child of Lucifer and they will be dealt with the same way that the devil is suffering in hell is how they too will suffer i thank all of you this morning for listening and as always do not forget that biafra is our religion here on radio biafra is where we worship because elohim chukokika biama is our god I thank you very much for listening from me from here. Good morning.